tita namin kung paano kayo magpalaki talaga ng pamilya. Hindi, hindi nyo naman pinagdamot yun sa amin. At nakita namin kung gaano kaayos kayo magdala ng family. Pero uh, nagdadalaga ng unti-unti, nagbibinata na. May naiiba ba sa mga rules nyo ngayon as parents? Um, sa pre-teens, uh, taking siguro, care of pre-teens and teens? Siguro pareho pa rin siya. Parang sa amin talagang yung values na in-instill namin sa mga anak namin na um, dalhin talaga nila whether yung mga bata sila o hindi yung pag magiging honest sa, mag sa magulang nila, maging respectful sa, sa magulang nila, na um, at the same time, you know, um, pagbutihin nila yung, yung pag-aaral nila, yung sports nila. Lagi naman sinasabi sa kanila, alam mo, ang dami ninyong opportunities, um, galingan ninyo kasi, you know, those opportunities, they don't happen all the, all the time, doesn't come all the time. So, be thankful for whatever comes your way. And, yun, I think the number one thing that children need to remember is to respect their parents, you know, and to obey their parents because their parents only want what's best for them. I think one of the biggest differences when we were when they were younger, smaller, compared to now is how uh, engaged and intentional we are with their sports and activities. Uh, for example, you know, she, because Kendra goes to regular school, she goes early, like 7 a.m., right? But, you know, for the two, she's Scarlett and Gavin, they train every morning, 6 to 7, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning for their sports-specific taekwondo and then basketball. And in the afternoon, they have trainings. And then Kendra, she's very focused on her swimming. So we also try to get her the best coaches that can help her out. So a lot of lessons can be learned through sports. So that's one of our goals is to instill the values and discipline in sports for them.